All right, for more of our beginner soccer players, um, some of our drills that we can do that I do with the kindergartners is I just have them trying to keep the ball really close to their bodies. Um, kind of use this one as discretion um, in regards to your spacing and what kind of ball you're using, etc. cetera. Um, but what I'll have students try to do is moving very slowly, okay? Because I'm just having them trying to move, keeping the ball close to their body. Okay, it's like a first grader. We really try to get into trapping so as they're moving, they're able to stand on one foot and balance as they can kind of put enough pressure on this foot where they are balanced and they feel fine, but they're not stepping on the ball and falling. Um, if you have the space, great. If you don't, no big deal. Uh, another, another just kind of suggestion is if you obviously have carpet, the ball's not going to roll as fast. Um, if you're on some kind of concrete or on some kind of hard flooring, um, a ball that's not like completely filled up. So if you want to take some air out of it, or if you have like a foam ball, those would be a little bit easier for kids younger age. All right.